Israeli occupation demolition of Palestinians' homes in occupied Jerusalem destroys the hopes and the dreams of Palestinian generations to come. <music> 130 Palestinian families faced the destruction of their homes to make way for an Israeli religious theme park where the Israelis believe King David had a garden in biblical times. About 1,500 people living in more than 100 buildings in Al Bustan neighborhood of Silwan, occupied in Jerusalem, are under threat of losing their homes, their lives. This Israeli colonial policy has long term implications on the Palestinian children, as four out of five children in the West Bank whose homes have been demolished by, as I say, they feel abandoned by the world according to a new report by Save the Children organization. Seven out of ten children said they felt socially isolated and had no connection to their communities after their homes were demolished. The majority of children consulted show high rates of distress, including feelings of sadness, fear, and depression. Children described having frequent nightmares, feeling like there is no safe place for them and paralyzed with fear. Since 1967, Israel demolished 28,000 Palestinian homes. Each demolition has uprooted an entire household, crushing the dreams and hopes of 6,000 children and their families in the past 12 years. So while children are losing hope these days with no help from any party. A family head whose home is at risk, Grumpel, saying, we get lots of verbal support, but no action. Where is the United Nations? Where is the international community? We desperately need international intervention now before demolitions take place, not afterwards where we are already on the streets and are given tents and food from aid organizations. Israel destroyed Gaza in wholesale. Israel is destroying Jerusalem and the West Bank, home by home, step by step. But the result is the same. Murder of hope, murder of a dream. Thank you for watching.